After selecting the model and choosing the right boot size, the boot is tried on once again to check the fitting. When you close the ski boot, make sure you begin with the second buckle on the lower shell to ensure it overlaps properly. The skier should then take a few steps and make some flexing movements with the boot on and closed. This will show if there are any pressure points or fitting problems. Next, we determine the optimum track or hip width. A stable position with the width of the hips is ideal. The forward lean angle is then set according to use. Fine-tuning takes place directly on the station. The boot liners have to be removed before the boot heating process. A special heating time has to be selected according to the model. Any problem and pressure points which have already been identified have to be attended to with fitting pads, which are cut to size. Additional toe caps are used for sufficient space in the forefoot area. Once the shell has been heated, only slight pressure must be used when closing the buckles. Now step exactly into the guide grooves with a heated boot. Adjust the knee pads to determine the natural knee position and find the optimum canting setting. Cooling pads are used to cool down the shell during the pressure process. The compression pads which are responsible for the pressure buildup are folded over the cooling pads and closed using a zip. The individual compression pressure is determined and the control unit set. Once the compression pressure is reached, the 7 minute countdown begins. After the vacuum process, the compression and cooling pads are removed and stored away again.